are here at Trends for the Trends Miss Style Icon Subcontest today. So stay tuned for more updates. Hey girls. Hey. Hi. So what's happening today? So we are here at Trends store today for Trends Miss Style Icon, which is our first subcontest. And this is one of my personal favorite subcontests, and I'm really looking forward for a good day. Okay, all the best. Thank you. Let's go. So the sub contest is underway and as you can see all the girls are running around they've just got 15 20 minutes to put their look together we've got western we've got ethnic we've got plenty of options here at trends and uh, Today is my test more than their test because these are their styling lessons that they've learned and it's time to put it in action. Let's see how the girls do. Can't wait to judge this one. Are you done with the shopping? Hi. Yes, yes, I'm done. Trend store, have it all. Are you sure you're done? Yes, I'm done. Okay. I'm super excited to style it. Good. All the best. Thank you. On the last Hi everyone, as you can see the sub contest has started and the girls are on a run. I'm super excited to see what fashion do they represent themselves by. So let's see. Hi Punya, what are you searching for? I am looking for something very unique and different. Because uh, I think everyone is looking for the same clothes, so I am thinking of something different. So let's see. All the best. Thank you. That was yes. officially done with the first part of the sub contest we just had our lunch we're sitting in time star right now focusing on our hair and makeup for the second part of the sub contest here you go you can see all the other girlies prepping because it's a stressful time right now and there's going to be judging and photo shoot that's what we have next so stay tuned and very excited to show you guys the results Hi, I'm Gavin Miguel and I'm here for the Trends Miss Style Icon and I'm waiting to see the girls. Uh, this is a very, very good sub contest and I think it's challenging because they were given a certain budget to work on. They go to the Trends store, they pick up clothes, they style themselves and who better to judge? So let's look out for them and see who is the winner.
she costs a billion to look this good. Oh yeah. But she make it look easy, cause she got it. Check my technique. You can find the one when the tempo good. Wanna touch my technique? Oh uh, three, two pretty girls. That's my technique. Uh, that's my, that's my, that's my technique. Uh, Bisu, right and left cheek. Uh, I did, my dear, that's my technique. Uh, all my pretty girls to the floor. Get your money, 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 honey. So this is my favorite sub contest for a reason. Uh, after the trans visit, we just saw all the girls transform into style icons, and we were just blown by how well they put the looks together. So distinct, so different. I can't wait for you guys to find out the final five. Hi guys, so we just got done with the sub contest. This is my cute little look and you'll get to know more about it later. The shoot is going on right here. The day is done and I have some of my girlies right here. Okay, they're going to tell you some quick fashion tips. So let's start with you. Come on. Okay, um, let's get some makeup tips. You, you can use your eyeshadow palette or your blush Wow, thank you! How about you? Fashion tip, you can use a lip balm. The way I'm styling it, very happy. Wow, thank you! Always wear a lip balm before your makeup so that your lips are plump by the end of Lovely, thank you so much! Say bye guys! I am so glad to hear that and I'm honored that even if I've made a single person feel this way, I'm very happy. This entire journey started somewhere around when I was 14, 15. I was introduced to the idea of Feminimus India by my Didi. And um, she's quite older to me. And she has guided me through every step of the way. And leading up to the point where I'm here. I did my need journey and then I took up all of this. And um, I feel very happy and proud to be here. The best lesson I have learned so far is actually a shlok from Gita. Karma ne vadika raste maha phileshu kadachana. And it means that focus on giving your 100% and working hard and not on the result. Result is not in your control, but working hard is, and that's truly what's going to get you success. So this is the best lesson in my life that I've learned so far. It is a principle that I live by, and it has honestly made my life very happy and satisfactory. Actually, I am glad to be the youngest here because the amount of love and care that I get is so overwhelming, and I'm so happy for that. And in the end, age is just a number. Your capability and maturity doesn't really come with age, but your experiences. So overall, <laughs> I am having a great time here and enjoying to my fullest. On a serious note, I believe that I'm a person who can say that I'm not afraid of failure. And that is a quality that I believe will help me pursue any goal or any dream in my life. Not, it's not just about Miss India or NEET. Anything in your life requires you to be courageous enough to take that step and not be afraid of failure. That one very quality is very important for you to succeed. And I feel like I have that. I'm so glad you asked this question. So sweet of you. Actually, my papa kept this name for me and it has a very nice story behind it. The word Kushmandvi is the name of Goddess Durga in her fourth incarnation. 
I was born on the Chaturthi of Navratri and that day my dad was reading the newspaper in the morning and I was just about to be born and he saw that it's Chaturthi, it is Kushmanda Ma, it is her day, Goddess Durga and so my dad decided to name me Kushmandvi and uh, this is actually a very hard name for many people to catch and pronounce. Uh, but it always sparks up such a beautiful story. So uh, that's now you know, now everybody knows what it means. I have only one thing to say to you. Slow and steady wins the race. Whatever you want to do, as small or big as it may be, it is crucial that you keep it on a steady pace. Keep practicing, keep doing things, no matter how much time you get in that while I was preparing for NEET, my sole focus was on that. It took up 10, 12 hours of my day in studying, in, in practicing for it. Whenever I wanted to take a break out of my MBBS life, my medical world, that is when I kind of, uh, just for fun, just for relaxing, this is what I did. And I knew once I was done with my exam, I would fully focus on uh, preparing for Miss India and uh, that is what I did. So take it step by step, focus